Good morning, everyone. This is Teacher Neff, and welcome to my class. This is oral communication in context. One of the most essential learning competencies that the Department of Education required for this course is to explain the nature and the process of communication. And that's what we are going to do for today's lesson. Okay, before we start, I would like to ask you a question. Can you imagine life without communication? Can you live for a day without texting, chatting, or sending messages to your friends, loved ones, and parents? I don't think so. It is no doubt that communication plays a vital role in human life. It does not only facilitate the process of sharing information and ideas, but also helps to develop relationships with others. Therefore, the importance of communication cannot be underestimated. Now, let us learn first the etymology of the word communication. When we say etymology, it refers to the study of word origin, explains where the words came from. So the word communication came from two Latin words. The first is communis, which means commonness and the other one is communicare which means to share so for today's lesson it is all about the nature and the process of communication let us first define what communication means communication is the process of exchanging thoughts ideas feelings information between and among others whether it's a verbal or non-verbal, to achieve a particular goal or purpose. Now, let us tackle the nature of communication. Number one, communication is a process. When we say process, it is cyclical. It is like a cycle. It begins from one step to another. Second one, communication occurs between two or more people. The third one, communication could be expressed whether it's verbal, non-verbal, or both verbal and non-verbal at the same time. So, in order for us to understand more, here are the elements of communication. We have the speaker, we have the message, the encoding, the channel, Decoding, receiver, feedback, context, and the last one is the barrier. These elements will explain to us its mechanics and process. This time, let me explain to you the process of communication. Do you know that the process of communication takes place or begins with a speaker? The speaker is also known as the sender of the message or information. The speaker initiates the process of communication with a specific or particular purpose. The speaker encodes by converting messages into actions or words or other forms wherein the speaker and the listener understand. The message is simply the information thoughts or ideas conveyed by this speaker into words or in action. After that, the message is being transported through a vehicle called channel. Channel is used as a medium in transmitting ideas or thoughts. Channels include face-to-face -face conversation, video conferencing, telephone conversation, written communication, mass media, and so on. Next in line is the listener, or also known as the receiver. The receiver decodes the message. Decoding means understanding and interpreting the encoded message given or sent by a sender or the speaker. When the listener or the receiver 
decodes the message, he or she can now make a response, also known as feedback. Feedbacks are reactions, responses, or any information provided by the receiver. It can be sent through different channels. Have you ever tried having a hard time just to cope up with a good communication? Yes, it happens. You know, sometimes misunderstanding happens because of the presence of noise. And this noise is also known as barrier. Barriers are factors that affect the flow of communication. We have two types of barriers. It could be external or internal. When we say external, these are barriers that happen outside. It could be a sound of a dog, the dog's bark. It could be a sound from the people around us or a sound coming from a vehicle. Anything that distracts the flow of communication. We call them external barrier. The other one is the internal noise or the internal barrier. These barriers happen in us. Since it is not visible, it is hard for us to control. It could be feelings, emotions, or anything that hinders a communication process. The context is the environment where communication takes place. It is also the setting or the situation where communication process occurs. So that's it. I hope you were able to understand the process and nature of communication. Thank you for listening. This is Teacher Neff and see you again next time. Bye!